Hi guys, Xpeng just announced the official release of the Xpeng G6 and Xpeng G9 in Europe. So today, a couple of hours ago, Xpeng just published on their accounts um, the official release information that the Xpeng G6 and G9 are coming to Europe. Of course, we already knew that they were coming, but there was no official release and currently there is. So let's jump immediately and see the main differences between the current versions and the new versions that are coming to Europe. So there are a couple of changes uh, in the exterior and interior, as you may see uh, on the videos and images that I am showing. But the main ones on the exterior are the light strip in the front of the car, also the aileron that changes a little bit the rounded um, Xpeng G6 that is the current model to a more um, sporty look, I would say. And then on the interior there are uh, some differences on the ambient light. Uh, you can see the new uh, dashboard that it's, uh, it looks a little bit bigger and it's, it looks like it's floating uh, in the car, so it's a very nice implementation. And also the rear uh, uh, mirror is digital, and this means that uh, you can now have um, a very clear view of the rear. There are also some changes uh, related to the seats, uh, so uh, it is coming with uh, ventilation uh, seats and also massage um, functionality for the front uh, row seats on the G6, this was only available on the G9 in the corporate package. It is important to say that in terms of designs and functionalities, um, it is not certain still that the Chinese version and the, the information that is coming out, it's going to be exactly in the models of uh, Europe. Also because, as you saw uh, already, the current models, uh, the G6 and G9, do have some differences even inside Europe. So, for instance, UK uh, customers do not have ambient light in their uh, cars, uh, while uh, here in Portugal, for instance, we have ambient light. So, there are some differences in the uh, current models, so we do expect some differences also in the models that are coming now for uh, the new versions. So, the China uh, uh, versions will be different from the European versions, and even inside Europe, you can expect to find some differences, and this is related to local legislations and local regulations that do require and do change then the possibility to implement some features. So this means, of course, that you need to check with your dealership for the version that will be available in your country. So one of the biggest changes between the previous version, so the current version of G6 and G9 with the new ones, are, of course, the 5C supercharged battery capacity and functionality. This means that we are going to keep the 800 volt uh, platform that it's currently already available, but it will be introduced these batteries that have the 5C charging uh, capability. This means that currently we can already charge the car with a super fast um, uh, charging speeds, but we will be able to do it even higher um, rates. So now it is announced that we can charge from 10 to 80% in more or less 12 minutes and already provided an additional 450 kilometers to the car in 10 minutes with these 5C supercharge capacity batteries. So this means that the Xpeng G9 comes with the capacity of charging his batteries with a 525 kilowatt charger and also the Xpeng G6 comes with 451 kilowatt capacity. Regarding these 5C new batteries, let me say that the information that I have is that all the cars are coming with LFP batteries, no NMC anymore, so it seems that Xpeng will decide to keep only LFP batteries for the cars, based on their extensive uh, knowledge of these type of batteries. So it seems that all the batteries coming for these new models will be LFP batteries. And uh, the information that uh, about the tests of charging uh, uh, is this. When using Xpeng's S5 liquid cooled supercharger in China, they achieved a 12 minute 10 to 80% charging time. Also, based on testing in the Netherlands, using a 400 kilowatt charging station, the new G6 was capable of charging from 10 to 80, also in 12 minutes. Okay, so basically this means that you will be able to achieve the numbers that I said before. The testing on the G9 is still in progress and it, the numbers will come out as soon as they are available.
So the second biggest change between the current models and the new models is, of course, the um, change of the chips for the driving capabilities. Let me read here um, what is introduced in these new uh, models. So the new x G6 and G9 features a full upgraded intelligent driving suite, including a microfiber capacitance steering wheel, advanced driving chip, the Turing chip, that it's the new innovation, and I will talk a little bit about that uh, in the next minutes, and a single pixel Lofic architecture for accurate, clear, and longer range perception for enhanced safety and control. I do believe that these are the biggest changes that are coming for the car. So the 5C uh, charging capabilities and also the driving um, functionalities based on the new chips that are being introduced on the new models. And this means that we can now expect uh, an increase on the driving capabilities of the system. Of course, we are still limited by regulations uh, in Europe, but now we have the possibility to have that in the car and now we need to move for the second phase that it's convincing European Union to allow us to drive in that uh, way. So let's uh, see what is the difference between uh, le level 2 that we are currently in and level 3 that it's the new uh, possibility that, that we have with the new chips included on the new versions. So I found this um, graph uh, that we can analyze here uh, together so that we can see more or less what is the differences between uh, these two levels and why it is uh, very important this change. Um, as you can see here on this graph that it's on the screen, level 2 it's the level that we are currently in. From level 0 to level 2 it's still driver support systems. This means that the car, the functionalities that are included in the car, so the current models, do exist to support the driver while driving. It is still considered that the driver is still driving. That's why the car are always asking us to put the hands on the wheel. And then the systems in the car are just supporting those driving skills. It's level two that it's the lane centering control that it's keeping the car inside the lane. Uh, so turning in the highway, for instance, for us and also the adaptive cruise control at the same time. And we call it self-driving, but it's basically assisted self-driving. The level three that it's now enabled with these new chips because they have more computing uh, power will enable us to move for autonomous driving. We are coming now to this green side that is automation. So now on this level three, as soon as we are able to do it uh, with our cars, this means that you are not driving. So this means that the car is then, in fact, taking control of the driving of your car. And now you are becoming the support function of these driving capabilities. One example here is the traffic jam chauffeur. This means that it will be able to drive autonomous in cities, from point A to point B, even from parking lot to parking lot. So there are a bunch of new things that can be implemented with this new computing power. And this is why it is one of the biggest improvements uh, between the current versions and the new versions. So now, of course, the question is, when can we expect to have these new models in Europe? I don't have, of course, the full um, answer for that, but I do have some info that I can share with you guys. So already, from today, you have the possibility to see the car in France, uh, in Le Mans. Also, the, in some uh, websites in European countries, uh, you can already manifest your interest on uh, purchasing and acquiring a new version. For instance, let me just read the countries that it will be available soon. So, Netherlands, Bilux, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Germany, and also France. You can already uh, or very soon manifest your interest in uh, Xpeng websites um, that you want these um, uh, new cars. Test drives can start between August and September. So this means that some dealerships will already be receiving some new versions, uh, G6 and G9, already for test drive uh, the cars. Orders will be available to be made in mid-July. This means that next month you will be able to order your G6 or your G9 with these new versions uh, already in some countries in Europe. So I do expect more or less that deliveries will start in September, around that month. 
So also let me tell you that I have some information on uh, additional countries where Xpeng plans to expand um, to sell their cars. And for instance, in Czech Republic and Slovakia, they will be already in June. So if you are in those countries, let me know if they are already there or if they are planning to open, if you have that information already. Xpeng already have signed contracts with local importers, uh, so partners in Greece, uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Hungary, Slovenia and Croatia. And they anticipate that they will be entering in these markets in September. So probably with already the new versions uh, of these cars. So guys, this was the video that I planned to do. So just a quick update on the news on the x -Bank. So as a wrap up, we had today officially announced the new models in Europe, G6 and G9. We expect on mid-July to have a beginning of orders to be pushed in some of the dealerships in Europe. Also, we have information that more or less in August, September, we'll, we will have some units to be tested also in some countries. And also, I do expect that deliveries will come around September, October. Let's see what happens. So guys, if you like this type of content, just leave your like. Um, do leave your comment if you are expecting to get or change your existing XPeng. Just leave a, a comment um, telling us what you expect more about these new versions. And of course, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.